Welcome, welcome to Those Guys Sports. It's your boy, Mike. And in this video, I was going to do a podcast, but I decided let's just talk it out. I like to ramble a lot, so let's just uh, do all that. I'm making this video right before that Denver-Minnesota game, right before a lot of the games on Sunday, just so I can edit it and put it out by Monday. Who knows? But I got to talk about Denver. I'm going to talk about West Westbrook. I'm going to talk about a couple other NBA things because the NBA is heating up. It's the playoffs. Like and subscribe. Let's do this. Now, in saying all that, the sleeping giant is the Denver Nuggets. So I, like I said, I don't know if they won. So comment below if they won. That's like If they won, it just further proves the fact that this team is a team that nobody is talking about. We are so busy talking about the Lakers, the Clippers, the Suns, the Grizzlies. We're talking about everyone else in the West. The Golden State Warriors, the Sacramento Kings. Everyone's being spoken about except the Denver Nuggets, who on this time of my recording, are up 3 nothing, And they could be up 4 nothing. they could be up 3 one doesn't really matter. They're going to win the series. And I can guarantee if they face the Phoenix Suns, they're going to win that too. If they face the Clippers, they're definitely winning that. But they're going to beat the Phoenix Suns too because they are. They have a good bench. I know they may not have a real backup bake to help Jokic, but Jokic can probably give you like 41, 45 minutes. You have Jeff Green who could play like a small ball five. Heck, you have Aaron Gordon who could play small ball five. Like they have the pieces. Braun or, or Brown, he's good. Like they have a lot of good guys. And the thing that if these two guys are good, this team will be hard to beat. If Jamal Murray turns into be the bubble Jamal Murray with a KCP, and I love KCP. I, love, I think every team who strives and wants to win the title needs a guy like KCP. Knows his role, plays active, shoots the three well, especially the corner three. Um, defensively, just just always involved. Yeah, you, you need those guys. Aaron Gordon, who's probably your best defender, guarding uh, your, the other team's best player. He's gonna probably guard KD next round. Like this team's good. This team, and then we can talk about the man who's gonna probably be second because the B's probably gonna win it. In MVP in Jokic, who honestly has been playing like he doesn't even care about basketball right now. He's not even playing at MVP level. He has been kind of slacking out the past two like weeks, almost like two months. He's been really slacking off. Once that straw poll came out, he was kind of like, like, F it. I'm not trying to do all this. He's like, I'm just like, forget this. Put it aside. I don't care. I don't want the MVP. He, doesn't, he didn't care for it, honestly. And he has been playing like it. That's why I'm just like, this team is a sleeping giant. This Denver Nuggets team could, could make it and win the whole thing. They really could because they're going to beat the Suns. And my pick is that they will face the Lakers. And I do think Anthony Davis could cause a problem and I may pick the Lakers. But if they beat the Lakers, I would not be surprised. The Denver Nuggets has been the best team in the Western Conference all year. And they're playing like this right now. And nobody is mentioning it. This team is the best team in the Western Conference. Mind you, I just said I may pick the Lakers because I don't want to go against LeBron. But... I'm going to say but, and if you say but, you wash out everything else you just said. Lakers are great, but Denver Nuggets are pretty good. They have so much good players. They have active players. They have got, Jeff Green is going to dunk on someone once a week. Old man Jeff Green is dunking on someone once a week. That team is good. Michael Malone has them playing well. Yes, he called them soft like three weeks ago because they were playing soft. Like I said, I think Yoga is just taking his time. He's, he's chilling. I don't know what that man is doing. That man doesn't really care so much right now. Like that team is like just, just kicking it. That team is kicking it. And it's crazy to see. Next person I wanted to talk about was Russell Westbrook. Man, give him the man his flowers. I was hating on all the ways people were talking about that man. I know they they may lose to the to the Phoenix Suns. I know. And I know like right now it's pretty much him and like Norm and no one really else. But Russell Westbrook is showing you guys still that he can ball. Him joining the Lakers was, oh, was just horrible. Horrible from day one. I say this all the time. If Russell Westbrook was with LeBron James, it would be fine. If Russell Westbrook was with Anthony Davis, it would be fine. And Davis and LeBron, of course, are fine. But all three of them together is a no-no. Russell Westbrook, the way he plays, he needs the ball. I get it. You know, we all tr are trying to tell Russ to be this and that and that. You know what? The best version of Russ is this Russ. When he's active, he's active defensively, which we've never really seen him act like the way. Yeah, he's probably doing it because of this playoff. Plus, he's facing death, Kevin Durant. So he's, he's revving up his engine going against Phoenix. I get that. But everything we're seeing with Russell Westbrook is amazing. It's like, 
it's what makes people love Russell Westbrook. Well, what actually what makes people hate Russell Westbrook. He's all over the court. He's all around. But that's what I that's what I personally love about him the most. I will always give Russell Westbrook his flowers. He is an amazing player. Top 75 for a reason. MVP for a reason. Leads the league in triple double leagues. The all NBA history in triple doubles because he's an all around guy, he's an all around player. You can say he hunts for rebounds, you can say he sometimes tries to get guys assists so he can get a triple double, you can say all that. You know what? They all do. When they're so close to a triple double, they're all doing it, okay? They're all trying to do everything that they can. But don't forget, when he was the OKC, when he had a triple double, they had like a 70% winning percentage when he had triple doubles because that's what it meant. He had to do all that. And I mean his MVP season, not all around. I think his all around is like 50%, 60%. But that season was like 70%. Russell Westbrook is a really good player. And he deserves his flowers. I'm glad to see what he's doing with the Clippers. I'm very curious where he's going to go next year. Not sure if the Clippers are going to sign him. But if he even comes off the bench, I think him kind of... I wanted the Raptors. I'm a Raptors fan. I, really, I want the Raptors to take him. I really did. When he got... Uh, traded out or signed out or whatever they did. Well, technically they traded him to Utah. And Utah bought him out. I'm like, I really hope he goes to the Raptors. Because having an energy guy uh, for the Raptors, they needed that. They needed that, that spark. They didn't have that spark. They didn't have that guy who naturally believes. One thing I love about Russell Westbrook, he believes he's going to beat you at all times. He believes he's going to beat you. And that's what makes him so special. Now from talking about the Denver Nuggets and Russell Westbrook and how spectacular they've been, it's talking about the negative stuff. The injuries. There is a ton of injuries in the NBA right now. Kawhi's out. Jaw just came back, so thank goodness. Then you have Giannis is out. And like right now, Miami looks like a team like and I'm gonna talk about Miami, but like, whoa, 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 whoa. This is this is kinda getting weird now. Like all this injuries are happening. Paul George has been out, Tyler Hero's out, Victor Ladipo, please get well. Please go. I hope. I hope it was a scare. I hope it's not like real. I hope it was just a scare. It looks like it could be real. I just, I honestly hope it's a scare because I truly believe that Victor Oladipo um, has still a lot of talent. It is, his career has gone crazy up and down, you know. Started number two overall pick, was whatever in Orlando, goes to OKC, was okay, and then goes to Indiana, becomes a two time All Star, an All NBA player, then gets hurt, and then kind of has been like, in and out of, not in and out of league, but like in and out of playing. And then that sucks. I hope Depot gets healthy. But there's been so much injuries. And it's kind of like, everyone talks about load management. Everyone is speaking about load management being the problem with the NBA and all that other stuff. And I've, I've been arguing lately that like, where has load management really been? Like, where are we actually seeing it? Where have you really heard, besides what Dallas did, guys actually sitting down for rest? We're not hearing it as much. Or if a guy says, oh, I have a bad back. Now, these guys are legit hurt. Like, these guys are actually hurt. Anthony Davis missed games because he was hurt. LeBron missed games because he was hurt. KD missed games because he was hurt. Steph missed games because he was hurt. Kawhi. Okay. Kawhi and Paul George, I don't know. That's those two. Now they're hurt. Now they're actually hurt. They're saying it's Kawhi's knee. And Kawhi's knees have been a problem, like, his whole career. But when Kawhi is on, we see it. Kawhi, I think Kawhi could, and the Clippers could have won that series. They're probably not going to win the series because there's no Kawhi. Because but Kawhi is that good. Kawhi is... Everyone's saying he's probably been the best player this whole uh, playoffs. Kawhi Leonard has easily been the best player, but it, it is what it is. Like you, there's so much injuries, so it can't be the load management. What is it? Some people are saying it's the AAU system. These guys are constantly putting stress on their bodies more than ever. It has to be something because back in the day, guys were not hurt this much. They just weren't. I don't know what's happening with this league when it comes to injuries. We're losing some of our stars. I say it all the time. This certain generation is leaving soon. Chris Paul's leaving. Everyone realized Chris Paul's leaving. LeBron is leaving soon. Kevin Durant's like top stardom is leaving. Steph Curry's top stardom is leaving. We need the, the future. We need the Giannis. We need the Jokic's. You know, we need the John Morant's. We need the, honestly, we still need the Zion. Like, we need these players. But for some reason, these guys are getting hurt left and right, and no one knows why. Going down another negative, one thing I hate the most is sweeps. This is a random thought I wanted to say. I hate sweeps. Hate them. I hate when a team beats a team 4-0. I like seeing competitive series. I really hope, like, especially in the future, like, I thought this year we are going to see, it, it's, Brooklyn is more of the standout, and I don't know, I'm filming this before the Minnesota game, so I don't know if they got swept. 
But you're hoping a lot more like one on one, two and two. I want, I love game sevens. I love to see teams go all out and try to win a game. I, to see a team just like outwork another team and just beat a team up, it's kind of like boring. I kind of want to see some fight. I want to see some things. Like I'm looking at Minnesota, and I think they did this last year. They'd be up like by ten, the third and fourth quarter. They're just like trash. I don't get it. I don't know what happened. I don't know what's wrong with some of these teams where they can't hold the lead anymore. Some say that the adventure of the three-point shot, it's something, but it's, it's just not the most entertaining thing to watch all the time. But I don't hate sweeps. I just, yeah, I hate sweeps. The last thing I want to talk about, and I kind of alluded it to before, the Miami Heat. As I speak right now, they are up 2-1 against the Milwaukee Bucks. They were home. It's okay. Game three, they were home. So let's say, I think Milwaukee could still win the series. I definitely think Milwaukee could win the series. They're still good enough. But Miami's one of those teams, man. They're just one of those teams. So, tell me what you guys think. Is Miami going to make the Easter Conference Finals? Because, arguably speaking, if they beat the Bucks, I think they can beat New York or, see, maybe, I don't know, Cleveland? Cleveland's a weird team, but I think New York could actually beat Cleveland. I think Cleveland's not a playoff-ready team yet. That's a whole other story. A whole, I always thought Cleveland was not ready for the playoffs just yet. They're a good team. Good, they're going to be a good regular season team. I always question how they were going to be in the playoffs. Always from day one. But if New York Woods wins, it's Miami and New York. That's the 90s type of love that everyone's going to have. Man, I, I can see Miami winning that. And it's going to go probably Miami, probably Boston. And Miami has always played Boston well. I predict, the thing with Miami... I predicted last year, I thought last year they were going to win the title. Even when they were like in game seven against Boston, like they're going to beat Boston, they're going to make it to the finals, they're going to beat Golden State. Miami's going to beat Golden State just because I believe in so much things of their game. Now, losing Tyler Hero is a thing. It's definitely a thing. But if they can get Strauss and Vincent to shoot threes well, Kevin Love to shoot three well, Kevin, of course, it's like they need us 100%. But for some reason, this team, I can see it happening. I can see this team making it to the Eastern Conference Finals, especially if they beat the Bucks, which I find kind of crazy because of the eighth seed. They believe in themselves. They clearly had some luck happen to them, and it's kind of like, like damn, this is really gonna happen for them. That was just some of my random weekly thoughts about the NBA. The playoffs is upon us. It's exciting. We all love the playoffs, and we can't wait to see more of it. I'm very, I'm, I'm looking forward. I hope we get some game sevens. I hope we get some close games. I'm hoping the Clippers can win next game, even though it's in Phoenix. Uh, I'm hoping the Grizzlies, I want a good series. I want every series to be good. I really do. I don't like sweeps, like I said. Denver, people need to be talking about Denver a little bit more. They're not talking about them. They need to talk about them. Like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys again. Peace.